hello you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today i thought it would be fun to film an updated mobile home tour i think the last time that i filmed a home tour we had not done a lot of the makeovers um if we had done any of them it was very little at the time so we have done a lot since that home tour so i thought it would be fun to do an updated home tour i have a lot of new subscribers this home is a 16 by 80 i'm not sure on the model name but it is a 1997 year model we still have a lot left to do so i am going to go through and kind of talk about my plans that i still want to do some things that we've already done also i did want to add i know the majority of you know but i do have a lot of new subscribers this is not my house this is my mom's house um, my kids and i have been living with her for the past couple of years and while we have lived with her i have been fixing her house up for her but i am currently working on getting my own mobile home right next door to her so i'm really excited about that but anyways i'm gonna go make an iced coffee real quick and then we will get started on this home tour so a lot of you have been asking me about my iced coffee maker i just brought it back out i had put it up for the fall i just got in the hot coffee mood but i am back in my iced coffee mood and it is so much cheaper to make my own versus buying the bottled iced coffee that's already done okay so mine used to have the little um filter basket but it broke on me so i just use coffee filters i'm gonna pop that down in there and i've got my coffee grounds here i still have my cup that the coffee maker came with i love it because it's got the fill line on there for the water then you just pour it into the back of the coffee maker all right so we are ready for coffee i'm gonna go put some ice in my cup sometimes while i'm filling my ice i will keep the drip turned to off and I'll go ahead and power on so it'd be ready to drip when I get my eyes ready. I didn't do that today so I'm gonna go ahead and switch that to on. The power button's right there and we just wait on the coffee to come out. This does brew hot but the difference between this and just brewing hot coffee and pouring it over ice is that this comes out in a very slow drizzle so that it doesn't completely melt your ice all at once to my coffee i'm gonna add some sugar-free french vanilla creamer and this mocha skinny syrup all right guys we're gonna start off this tour on the front porch this was one of my most recent makeovers i'm gonna put some before clips of my projects throughout the video so you can see what it looked like before but this was pretty much not very enjoyable it was like a dark green color there was no sitting it was just um, we had a lot of stuff up here and so we bought a storage container to put that stuff in and gave it a paint job and put a nice little sitting area the um, rug here is from ollie's i think it was like 30 dollars. this is an old table we had already it had been sitting in the backyard and so i cleaned it up it needs to be painted but i just cleaned it up brought it here to the front porch and these chairs this is like a little um conversation set i think is what it's called it comes with two chairs and then um a little table so that's from amazon i do have a patio that we just added on behind me but I'm not going to show you guys that yet because I'm not sure if the video has been posted yet by the time you see this video um I want to do the reveal and everything in that video a lot of you guys have asked me about painting this green here I would love to I actually want to paint her entire mobile home on the outside that might be something that happens um, when it cools off though because it is incredibly hot here in Georgia this rug is from Amazon it just says home sweet home I've got my ferns there hanging try not to show you guys too much of the patio um, but yeah my ferns have been doing really well really happy with those and then over here in this corner got this porch rule sign 
I love this. It is so adorable. Um, I got this at a place called the Engravers Mark. They are a little shop local to me, um, but I think they ship as well. So I will put their Facebook down below for you guys. Um, but I thought this was so cute and it just goes perfect here on our porch. And I think they do paint parties as well, but you can also um, just do walk-in painting. So I'm looking forward to taking the kids in there to do that. But like I said, I will have their Facebook down below for you guys. What well, you guys will have to excuse our mop bucket. We always keep it outside because when we're done mopping, we just turn it upside down and let it drain. And then it just hangs out here until the next time we use it. So um, that's why it's out here. But let's head on inside. Okay, so you have the hallway there to the right. There's two bedrooms and the bathroom there on the end um, to the left. But this is what the mobile home looks like when you walk in. Very open concept. Um, but before we get into all this, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about this hallway because this is one of my next projects. This is going to come down. We are going to do the board and batten look. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll have a pop up here on the screen of what I'm talking about. But basically, you just hang boards and I'm going to paint it white um, where the boards are and then my mom has six grandchildren and so each grandchild is going to have their own picture hanging above the boards and then I'm going to hang the sconce lights above the pictures. I think it's going to be really pretty and I'm so excited for that so um, you guys stay tuned for that. But right here used to be, you guys will have to excuse the mess in here, this used to be where the old AC unit was um, and it was not big enough to cool this mobile home so my mom had it taken out and she got a bigger system it's outside of the mobile home but she did turn it into a little storage closet she's just got a metal rack um, with some of her kitchen appliances and then <laughs> this is totally random but we keep our shoe basket right there it used to be right there but it did not look good out in the open. It's just an eyesore, as you guys can see. We've got way too many shoes in there. Or we just need a bigger basket one. But um, we keep this curtain over it to hide it. So, But moving into the living room. This is my favorite room of the house. I went hard on this one because it is the heart of the home. And like I said, it's also open concept. So... You see this room all the time. So the walls used to be, I think it was like a white gray color. Then we had this, I guess you call chair rail. It's like a thin little piece of wood that was hanging up there. And I could have taken it down and then I could have just painted the walls, but I decided to add beadboard wallpaper. And then um, I just painted it white. It does need to be cleaned. You can see little fingerprints there, but yeah, I loved how this came out. It added a little bit of character to the room, I feel like. There is some places that didn't lay that great when I did it, and you can see it, but for the most part, this stuff did fantastic, and it is a really budget-friendly option. We actually hung this stuff on the kitchen cabinets as well to kind of tie everything in, but you guys will see that when we get there. Got this basket here. That, I believe, is from Hobby Lobby or maybe Ross. I got it years ago, um, and I can't remember where it came from. It came from my old house. We've just got a couple of pillows in there. I had a blanket in there, too. I'm not sure what happened to it. This is actually an old Christmas pillow. <laughs> I've just got turned around. So, yeah. Moving on to the TV stand. I get a lot of questions about this. This is from Wayfair. If I can, I will put a link down below in the description box it was really um, inexpensive but i love how it has all the cubbies there so we can put all of our things in there and hide it these lamps are from hmm, ross maybe i think ross <laughs> these are also from my old house come out over here to this corner this is the toy corner the toy box i guess you could say is 
um, from Amazon. It's cloth. I wanted that so I didn't have to worry about fingers getting pinched. But usually this corner is a hot mess. You guys know if you watch any of my videos. Um, <laughs> but got it all cleaned up for this tour. These two things here hanging on the wall are from Hobby Lobby. This I found at Big Lots. This thing here used to be like a bright blue color. My aunt had gave it to me back when I lived at my old house. She didn't want it and so I saw potential in it. And so I took it and I painted it white, hung this green wreath on there and I've loved it ever since. So we just have that hanging there. So moving to the couches, these are like a dark brown color. So that was one reason we did the covers. It just didn't really go with um, the vibe of the living room but we also have little kids and pets and so keeping the couches covered help out a ton because we can just um, pop these on and off we can put them into the washer as needed and um, slip them right back on and the couch is as good as new these are from Amazon we have matching on the love seat and also the couch I get lots of questions about these so I will have them down below the pillows here the covers come off of these I just bought the pillows and the cover separate so I could change the covers out as I wanted to it's just much cheaper than buying new pillows every time but I got the pillow and the covers from Amazon and I forgot to talk about these pillow covers here these are also from Amazon these pillows that we have inside came with the couches and we just bought the covers I think they're actually outdoor covers but they work for inside too this picture thing here is from kirkland's the sorry guys i feel like i'm all over the place the coffee table this was gave to my mom several years ago it used to be like a brown maroon color and i recently painted it well i say recently it's been more like probably two years now I painted it white and distressed it so yeah that is the view of the living room if you're looking at it from the kitchen so we are gonna move into the kitchen now so I don't remember if I got complete before shots of this kitchen before we had started on it I know we did the counters first and then we did like the cabinets and the walls and stuff but I don't remember if I got like a complete before shot before we did anything to it but these counters used to be basic trailer mobile home counters they still are we just painted them I used acrylic paints from Walmart you can get them in the craft section they're like the little um, 50 cent bottles and I took a sponge and dabbed the colors on there I think there's a total of four colors in this I actually have a whole video on this so I'll link it down below but I wanted to take a second to update you guys on how this is holding up I've had a lot of you ask how it's holding up there are some places that are chipping like right now I can't even find them so they're really not that bad but as far as holding up this has been excellent I did this two years ago maybe three overall it's been really good like I said there are some places that are chipping but I can't find them and honestly we could go back in with another coat of the epoxy and it would be perfectly fine this is where we put our dish mat um, and so there's a lot of moisture that sits here a lot of the time and you can see it's kind of discolored in that area um so just keep that in mind but that's really the only two things that i have to complain about i mean you can still tell that they're mobile home counters but they look a lot better than they did um they had like a maroon strip <laughs> going there but the cabinets used to be like a a beige cream color they are the mobile home material i've heard a lot of people say that you can't paint that stuff but i'm here to tell you i painted this and it is holding up perfect and i also replaced the hardware to i think this is brush nickel i can't remember those are from walmart but that's the island if i can remember these paint colors i will also put them on the screen or have them down below I get a lot of questions on the paint colors um, throughout the house. Also, this floor is another big project for this house still. Um, the floor in here, actually the floor throughout the entire house needs to be done. That room and then on back is carpet. The bathroom and everything is carpet. I don't know who designed that, but it is carpet. It needs to be ripped out, so that is the plan. Um, but 
this floor in the living room needs to be ripped out as well and redone. I do have plans to do that. I just don't know when it's going to happen. This um, faucet, we used to have the traditional mobile home faucet, but we put this one in. It has the pull down head. Um, I will link that down below if I can find it. It was a brand that had worked with me a couple years ago and I'll have to see if I can find um, their link, but my mom had this sink put in. It was a lot more shallow than this before, um, but she had this deep sink put in. Let's go ahead and talk about this side of the kitchen. So these cabinets here were the same as what the island was, the same kind of material. Just took the beadboard wallpaper like we used in the living room and put that on the fronts of the cabinets, painted them white, put on some new hardware, and voila. We need to paint the ceilings in here as well. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of that because yeah, it looks rough, needs to be redone. This noodle board I made myself. I actually have a whole video on it, so I will link that down below for you guys. But it was really easy. You just buy one, two, three, four, four six of these, and then two of this size, and you just glue it together, and then you can reinforce it with screws. I put felt pads there so that it wouldn't scratch up our countertop and I just use my Cricut to make a um, stencil with. It says made with love in Nana's kitchen. So I thought that was really pretty to have here on the stove when we're not using it. And it also acts as extra counter space sometimes when we need that little bit of extra counter space when we're not using the stove. This backsplash here, it is peel and stick subway tile. Uh, got it from Amazon. This uh, backsplash used to be dark and it was also peel and stick but um having that it completely brightened the kitchen up so coming on around to our dining area this table was built by a guy that is local to us he made this table several years ago and it has been great um it's just a picnic style farmhouse table i don't know if you guys remember what this looked like before this wall was the accent wall in the kitchen it was a like a purple color and we went in or i went in <laughs> painted it white and i took a sharpie and i did the shiplap look um this is really great because if we ever get tired of that look we can just paint right over it we don't have to rip boards down that sign is from hobby lobby those two planters on either side are from Amazon as well as the things that they're hanging on and um, this little sofa table it used to be a sofa table we just keep our cake plate and fruit bowl on that and then hanging over here on that wall we have this fork and spoon that's from Hobby Lobby um, and then these curtains are blackout curtains we have a lot of heat that comes in right there it's um, French doors and the sun beams on that side of the house the majority of the day and it is super hot. As a matter of fact, if you get close, you can feel the heat like radiating. So um, we keep those up there for that reason. We really never open them because it is extremely difficult to keep this house <laughs> cool in the summertime. So um, this little rooster sign here is from Hobby Lobby. But that is the dining area. We've got our laundry area to the left here this used to have just one wire shelf hanging um so we didn't have a lot of space to put things and so what i did is i went to lowe's and i bought a box of the anchors and these metal brackets and i hung those up on the wall and then i've got two boards painted those laid them on top and that's how I made the shelves. Um, that up there needs to be patched. It's not leaking or anything. It just needs to be fixed. But yeah, we've got a curtain rod hanging so we can hang our hangers up. And we also keep our mop pads over there. Got an old washer and dryer. I had asked you guys um, in one of my recent cleaning videos, I was talking about how the older models just seem to work better, at least for us. And so I thought it would be a fun question to ask you guys. And the majority of you said it was the same for you that the older ones just work better. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and say that the older ones are just better. They're just better. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's our laundry area. It's not very big, but um, it works. So I've got a little sign hanging up there. It says, a laundry room, loads of love. That I think is from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. <laughs> I also have a video um, just dedicated to me doing this area. I have pretty much dedicated videos on every room that I've done so far. But yeah, that's the dining room. And when you come on around this way, got our like air fryer and microwave station. This is a potato and onion bin that I painted. Um, and I also did the bread box. My mom's had this bread box forever. Um, we don't really use it, but every now and then we do so that's there got our little charging station for the kids devices these glass cabinets here i really want to do something with these and a lot of you have gave me a lot of great ideas um for this but the thing is i don't want it to expose like what's inside i would like it to stay hidden um and if I knock this out, it's going to open that up. So I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. Like I said, you guys have gave me several um, great ideas. Kind of been thinking about what I want to do with that. But it's definitely an outdated look. This was the pantry. I say was because um, we don't use it for a pantry anymore. This was really just too small for a pantry area. It was not quite big enough and plus my mom just needed more cabinet space to put her you know kitchen things that she uses i will show you guys here in a little bit what we did for the pantry so on this side of the island we are standing you guys can see there's the living room and um, we have the coffee bar so this is just a dresser that we bought from sam's club and we utilized the drawers for extra um, space to put things We've got our spices here up top, some coffee filters. It needs to be uh, reorganized, but you guys get the idea. We got these little jars. I think these are from Amazon, and we just put all of our spices in those and then labeled the tops with our label maker. And so when we come in here to look for something, we can just look for the name of the spice. And here we just keep um, extra dish towels, dish mats. Um, pot holders and then the bottom drawer is basically just randomness odds and ends so yeah the runners from walmart it's the pioneer woman um, collection it's reversible so you can use either side right now we just have it on the blue side this is from tractor supply and it spins so we keep our coffee in there We've got basically anything that we need for coffee. Um, and I also keep a few oils that I use on a regular basis um, here because I've got my diffuser sitting there. This little basket is from Home Goods, I believe. It is a coffee cup. I thought that was so cute, but it holds all of our pods. Got my iced coffee maker and then our Keurig. So that's the coffee bar. And I still need to show you guys the hall down that way. But before I do, we're gonna come into the master bedroom. So coming into the master bedroom, um, this is another project that I've got coming up. We are gonna completely redo this room. So that back wall there is gonna be the accent wall. We're gonna do faux brick. Um, she's talked about us painting her furniture white. Um, that's the master closet there. I'm not going to show you guys all that just for, you know, privacy reasons. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to do in here. We're going to paint. Um, we're thinking about a barn door there on the bathroom. Because it is a bathroom, um, you need the privacy. So we might do one door on that side that doesn't move. And then this one be the barn door that slides out that way. I haven't quite decided. But that's kind of some ideas we've been tossing around. Um, but we've talked about maybe like a pink gray color for the walls in here not sure yet but i know it is going to be incredibly pretty when we're done with it so anyways that's the plan in here um she's got her desk there to the left she has to work from home sometimes so 
Um, coming into the master bath. So look, I mean, who designed this? Who in the world put carpet in the bathroom? But um, there are actually a lot of mobile homes that are older that have carpet in the bathrooms and it is the most ridiculous thing ever. So first let's turn on the light in here. The paint color in here I for sure remember is Horizon Gray by Benjamin Moore. Um, it is by far my favorite color in the house and I plan to paint my house this color all throughout um, whenever I get to that point. So this is a shower. Um, the shower curtain is from Amazon. I love this shower curtain. She's got a nice big garden tub there. I have thought about painting this but um, if you guys follow along I painted the guest bathroom tub recently and I don't know that I want to do that again because the fumes were so incredibly strong so I have not quite decided on this bathtub yet what I'm actually going to do. This window here was also something that my aunt had gave to me um, and I brought it from my old house. I painted it white. I can't remember what color it was before. I just painted it white, hung a little green wreath, and I feel like it opened the bathroom up. Made it look a little bit bigger having that extra mirror. You come to the right, we've got cabinets there, um, and then our bookshelf with you know all the storage things of a bathroom <laughs> so in here I kind of did the same thing that I did in the kitchen I hung the beadboard wallpaper on the front of the cabinets and then painted those white but in here I used the same hardware that we already had and just um, spray painted those it is wanting to scratch off a little bit in some places um, I could probably seal those and it would be fine but that's the cabinets in here we did the same method that we did in the kitchen with the acrylic paints um, we just used different colors just dabbed them on with a sponge and then sealed them what we did is we decided on this paint color first and then pulled some accent colors that go with this that are in the same you know family and that's how we decided on the colors for the counter. We kept the same mirror, just painted it white. We do need some updated um, light fixtures, but for now, the original ones are hanging in there. Those two shelves there are from Amazon. These little tins here that I have the cloths in are from Amazon. Kind of, you know, dual purpose. It's decoration, but also uh, somewhere you can store your cloths. So, yeah. All right guys, so we are back at the front door. There's the front door and we're gonna head on down the hall. The only room I'm not gonna show you is mine and the kids' room because we've got a sleeping baby in there and we do not wake a sleeping baby. So remember I told you guys that we don't really use that little pantry in the kitchen. Um, this is our pantry. So this is the middle bedroom of the house and we use it for more than pantry. We have all of our seasonal bins there with home decor um, we've got Christmas stuff up there this room is a constant work in progress um, but if you guys remember what it was like before it was a complete hot mess we didn't have these shelves in here um, so everything was just kind of sitting around but here to the left of the door is where we keep a lot of our food and we've got a stand-up freezer there and then this over here is another pantry but um, this is basically where we keep our food and anything else we don't have room for in the rest of the house. So yeah, there's that room. And then the last room I'm going to show you guys is this little guest bathroom. So I'm going to talk kind of low because like I said, I'm right next to my room where my baby is sleeping. We've got the box fan going in there, so it helps drown out a lot of the outside noise. Um, but this was one of the first rooms that I did. Um, I can't remember this paint color. It is by Color Place, I'm pretty sure. But I just basically painted the walls. I painted the original mirror frame. Those shelves right there are from Amazon. Um, the curtain, I think, is from Walmart. We did the same technique in here with the acrylic paints. And that color, I can't remember. I'll see if I can find it. And let you guys know but I get a lot of questions on 
this shelf. This is from TJ Maxx. And basically it just holds everything that won't fit in there. Um, I just recently painted this bathtub shower. Um, I'm going to give you guys an update on that here soon. Just to let you guys know how it's holding up. Because I just did it and I was really concerned about how it was going to hold up against showers and cleaning. So I will come back and update you guys on that. Once I've had enough time to know how it's going to hold up. So anyways, that's this little bathroom. The floor in there needs to be redone as well. Alright guys, that is going to complete this home tour. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I thought it would be fun to show you guys kind of what the house looked like before versus what it looks like now. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your butterfly emoji in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.